Hello, Internet users. This is Chilla Fox. Welcome back to another episode. We are finally here. After we understand the background of Yao Guai and Chinese Heaven, we can now go through each boss in depth details. If you go to the game company's website and click on Media, you will be able to see a lot of concept art and the monster design. We are also covering these as much as possible. But if you zoom in the picture. You'll see a serial number labeling each character. For example, LYS Kang Jinglong 01. If you watched the last episode, you might realize the middle part of the serial number is the name of the monster, Kang Jinglong. Then what about the front? It looks like an acronym of some kind. But if we combine it with the story background of Black Mist Wu Kong, the novel Journal to the West. We'll find that this letter combination can only be the location in Journal to the West. LYS means Laying Si, the Thunderclap Monastery, which appears in Chapter 65 of the book. At the same time, in the last video, we made assumption about the game Black Mist Wu Kong storyline. We came up with the hypothesis that a series of a great disaster like Ragnarok. Causing the heaven and Buddhas to perish, resulting in no past and present. The last remaining Buddha, Ami Tuofu, found our protagonist and hoped that he could walk on the path of Journal to the West again to figure out a solution to fix the world's collapse. So, in the upcoming videos, we will precisely introduce the scenes from the game's trailer and demos. Alongside the boss within, following the sequence of locations appeared from the book. But before we move on, I need to state a disclaimer: since we don't have an actual copy of the game, the ability of the boss will be categorized by following color. Color red means the ability appeared in the original novel. Color orange means the ability does not appear in the book but appeared in the Chinese mythology and written down on some ancient documents. Color yellow means this ability is confirmed by the game's demo or trailer. The information and detail in this video is provided solely as general education and informational purposes, and does not represent the actual gameplay or design of the game. We are examining some content and models released by the game developer and offering a speculative glimpse into potential game mechanics based on the developer released content. This is just a theory. A game series. With that in mind, let me introduce our first destination, the Jade Palace, Chinese Heaven. According to an IGN China interview, the game developers mentioned that Jade Palace and Flower Fruit Mountain were the first levels that they developed. Since Heaven is also the place mentioned in the first few chapter of Journal to the West, let's get right into it. Heaven first appeared in the 30-minute gameplay trailer released on August 20, 2020. At the end of the video, we can see Sun Wukong facing four tall giants, and these giants are the Dharma protector of Buddhism, worshipful deities who voluntarily stay in heaven to protect their religion. In episode one, we discussed how the world has been divided into four continents, and each Dharma protector is responsible for a continent. North, East, South, and West. Firstly, we meet Guangmu Tianwang, positioned second from the left in the image and guardian of the Western direction. Guangmu is commonly depicted as having red skin and clad in armor. In Chinese belief, he is the leader of dragons, so his sculpture usually has a dragon or snake wrapped around his hand. He also possesses the divine eye, which allows him to see great distance as well as the karma of sentient beings. You can think of it as a dragon summoner who can shoot lasers from both eyes. If we want to rate his combat level, assuming that Sun Wukong, before completing the Journal to the West, is level 85 and the highest level is 100, the Dharma Protector are probably level 86. Moving on, we have the Guardian of the South, who is the most left one in the picture, Zheng Zhang Tianwang. Zheng Zhang is commonly depicted as having cyan-colored skin while brandishing a sword. Please be careful; he is a rare master of swordsmanship in Buddhism. 
because Buddhism doesn't kill. They are usually famous with their unarmed combat techniques and staff fighting skills. If we are lucky enough to be able to play against him in the game, I hope he will be easier to defeat than Melania, Blade of Makala in the Elden Ring. Then the next one is Chi Guo Tian Wang, the most right one in the picture, who is the guardian of the eastern direction and is considered to be a god of music. Unfortunately, we don't have his actual model in the game, but in Chinese belief, he holds a pipa, a traditional Chinese musical instrument similar to the guitar and lute, in his hand. There are four strings on the pipa, arranged according to the elements of earth, fire, water, and wind. When the strings are plucked, the corresponding elements will be summoned to attack. So be careful with his wide range, random patterns of AOE attacks, and he may combine different elements for new attack sequence. On the other hand, he is one of the deities with some really interesting mechanics. His ability will remind me of elemental bosses in Final Fantasy XIV. Of course, there are some hard ones, and I'm so excited to see how the game developer will interpret him inside the game. Finally, we have the Duo Wen Tian Wang, who protects the North. In Japan, he is known as Bi Sha Men Tian. In the Chinese belief, Duo Wen Tian Wang is commonly depicted as having green skin and holding an umbrella of wisdom in his hand. When open, this umbrella can cause the world to tumble. If he spins the umbrella, it will absorb weapons and unleash fire and black mist to harm opponents. Facing this boss may require readiness to be disarmed temporarily, necessitating the use of new weapons throughout the battle. And maybe you have to do this over and over again. As the strongest and the leader among the four. His combat level is rated at level 88. The four Dharma protectors are also called four heavenly kings or four devil rajas. They first appeared in chapter five of the book. In the original novel, they are significantly nerfed compared to their mythological background and didn't show too much of their abilities. Based on their model design, which reflects more detail on the mythological side, we can look forward to their performance in the actual game. In addition to the four heavenly kings, we have a large number of heavenly soldiers in the trailer. According to the leaked model, we can see that their armor design is based on their race and background. They are the guardians of the heaven and belongs to the military department of Jade Palace. Generally, they don't have many special abilities, with an average combat level around 30 and primarily wielding a heavy halberd or spears. But some of them. Use swords and shields. On the other hand, there are several frames in this video that shows two figures much more larger than the soldiers. We can tell from the model that the smaller figure on the right is Zeng Zhang Tianwang. They have the similar armor pattern below the waist. But who is the figure on the left? We couldn't find an answer in the released model, but we do have one hypothesis based on a concept art released in early 2020. In Chapter Four of the novel, when Sun Wukong leaves heaven to proclaim himself as the Great Siege equal to heaven, the Jade Emperor sends a mighty spirit god armed with a giant axe to fight against him. This mighty spirit god is called Ju Ling Shen, a gigantic river god in Chinese mythology, usually armed with a giant axe or hammer. He is responsible for holding the gate of heavenly palace and managing people's entrance and exits. With a power ranking around level 63, he is often characterized as super strength but simple-minded. The above are the members of heavenly palace that we can sort out so far. Although these members should also include two of the 28 constellations. However, these constellations are scattered everywhere, and they have many connections with the place they wandered. So we won't mention it for now. We'll talk about it later. In the next video, we'll talk about one of the locations where we have the most information and most detail of the boss, still in the 30-minute gameplay trailer. Hey Feng Shen, this is Chilla Fox. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
it means a lot for me. And I will see you in the next episode.